The United Nations Security Council has final say on some of the most heated conflicts the world has ever seen. But not everyone's say is equal, and that's been a big problem. When the UN was founded after World War II, the goal was to maintain peace and global order, and the UN Security Council was created to enforce laws and actions. Now, while the General Assembly is made up of 192 member states, the Security Council only has 15 states. Five of those are permanent members, each with the power of veto. That means the US, China, Russia, France, and the UK can single-handedly block a Security Council resolution that would otherwise be legally binding. And considering the fact that these five members don't always see eye to eye, that often means a lot of inaction on some of the most urgent international crises. One example, Syria. When the UN began calling on the Syrian government to scale back its attacks in 2011, Russia and China decided to veto those resolutions. Why? Well, they considered the resolutions harmful to their ally, Bashar al-Assad. Those vetoes kept world leaders from taking any concrete action to help end the deadly civil war. And when the UN tried to investigate the crash of the Malaysia Airlines flight that was shot down over eastern Ukraine in 2014, Russia stalled action with a veto. Russia also blocked a resolution that would have urged countries not to recognize Crimea's decision to leave Ukraine. In fact, up until 1990, the USSR led on the number of vetoes. And since the fall of the Berlin Wall, Russia has cast its veto vote about 13 times. And the United States is no stranger to the veto either. Since the get-go, it's shut down 79 votes. So what exactly is the US vetoing? Mostly resolutions targeting its ally, the State of Israel. That includes recognizing a Palestinian state, taking action against illegal settlements, and giving expelled Palestinians the right to return. In total, there have been 263 vetoes used to stop resolutions in their tracks since 1946. The veto was supposed to reward the countries who carried out the burden of fighting in World War II. But if those nations didn't have that power, Syria, Ukraine, and Palestine may be very different places. So is it time for the UN Security Council to give up the veto?